All right, so I have another Gen Wars battle with Fulham. Um, you guys might recall this format. I invented it a while ago. Basically, it's a fun little format. Not really serious, but it's a fun little format in which you use the three starters of a generation as well as your three favorite Pokemon of that generation. No matter what they are. Well, if they are under-evolved, you can uh, use the evolved form as long as they're in the same generation. But anyway, like I said, just a fun little uh, format that I made a while ago playing against Jolt's Bolt. So, um... Yeah, let's go ahead and get started with this one. As you can see, uh, I lead with Mew as he leads with Quagsire. Apparently, neither of us like the uh, uh, matchup, so we both switch out. But he wins that double switch, that's for sure. As um, I switch out into Venusaur, as he goes out into his Typhlosion, which is really not something I want to stay in on because of Eruption. And yeah, there goes the Eruption. I go into Blastoise, who is my resist to uh, fire. And um, yeah, it doesn't do that much, but it still does quite a bit. I guess that really didn't make sense, but you guys see how much damage it did. Anyway, so he goes into Meganium now, which is the grass starter of Gen 2. Oh, by the way, if I didn't mention it, I'm playing Gen 1, and he's playing Gen 2. If you couldn't tell, or are you uh, really bound with early Pokemon generations, well, that's what's going on. Um, either way, his Meganium is burned uh, for my Scald, which is kind of nice. And I'm just going to switch out now, and I go out into my Mew, because Mew is... Adorable, and the actual Pokemon legend. There's only one Pokemon that was ever a Pokemon legend. Um, back in Gen 1, you know, it was before, you know, hackers could hack the cart, you know, day 2 the game came out. Uh, the, day, the day 2 game coming out. I mean, Mew people were adamant about, you know, it's just one of those rumors, it doesn't actually exist. But you know what, it does exist. And not even Nintendo knew about it when the game was released. I'm going off on a tangent. I go out into my uh, Venusaur, and um, this Venusaur I probably should have not chosen. I do have a few non-Mega Venusaurs because I did decide to bring a different Mega. Um, actually, I, any of the Gen 1 starters could be Mega. But uh, mine doesn't have Sludge Bomb, so I probably should have brought a different one because this Sap Sipper Miltank completely walls me. And uh, more than that, I give it free attack trying to go for my... Um, Sleep Powder, which he tried to bait a Grass Attack. Probably wasn't expecting me to go for a Sleep Powder, but regardless, he is going to get off now a um, that as I go for a Hidden Power. What type of Hidden Power is this game? Which is really a bad move, because even if it was like Hidden Power fighting, it really wouldn't do much. And uh, basically, I just gave him a free Curse, which is pretty dumb and stupid on my end. So I want to switch, and then I make another dumb play with my Blastoise I try to go into, which is my physical tank. So, um, I'm hoping you can take a hit. I really should have just went for the Dragon Tail right off the bat. For some reason, I kind of done derped and went for the Toxic, even though this thing probably has, um, Heal Bell. So, that's pretty awful for me, actually. <laughs> I try to go for the Toxic, and, uh, he is going to hit me down, uh, pretty far. So, that's kind of a dumb play. Like I said, I have Dragon Tail. I should have went for it, because I am going to be able to take one Body Slam. Miltank, uh, obviously isn't that invested in attack. Um, but... Yeah, fortunately for me, though, he gets greedy here. He actually tries to go for another curse um, this turn. So that was pretty excellent for me because I am going to be able to get off a of Dragon Tail now. I guess he figured that if since I went for the Toxic, I wouldn't have Dragon Tail. Nope, I just made a dumb play. And um, thankfully, he does too. So uh, I get a Dragon Tail out this mill tank. Um, back into his Typhlosion. By the way, um, just a note, I'm sorry if the FPS of this battle is a little bad. Um, I only recorded it once, and I think I made some mistakes with the um, recording quality, and then I deleted it from my uh, Link Battle, you know, pad or whatever in my game. So this is the only recording I have, so you had to bear with me with the quality. I'm sorry about that. Um, anyway, so he goes into Typhlosion. He does have the Hidden Power Grass, and he goes for it. I go for the Scald, and I'm thinking, why isn't that doing that much? Wow, this is a bulky Typhlosion. Oh, yeah, he has a light screen up. Because it just faded. And, um, derp de derp de derp I go out into Charizard! Yay! Because he's locked in either Hidden Power Grass or Hidden Power Electric. Um, I found it later it was actually Hidden Power Grass. Doesn't really matter, because once my Charizard of, uh, Mega Evolves into Charizard X, I resist both of them, so it doesn't really matter. I go for the Dragon Claw, and look how much damage it does to that Quagsire. Now, that was a crit, but, uh, looking at that damage, it affects that crits are only 50% more in this generation, not double. That is a solid 2 a KO, which I was, um... Kind of shocked about, um, to be honest. I mean, obviously I knew Charizard X is a monster, but I didn't know it was that much of a monster. Now that 
was not me being greedy. That was a legitimate misclick. I misclicked freaking Dragon Dance. I was trying. I meant to go for the Dragon Claw just to finish this thing off. Um, it might look from your perspective I was being greedy. No, I was actually trying to finish off the Quagsire. But, um, yeah, that sucks. So I just go for another Dragon Claw. And, um, unfortunately, he did get off a reflect uh, Recover, so he is going to be able to live that and get off the Toxic on me, which, at the time, I really didn't think was big of a deal. But, um, looking back on it, he is really going to limit my turns, especially with any Mega Year. Not going to be able to get, you know, Leftovers Recover or anything, so, um, it is going to start taking its toll. Not to mention, he does have that Protect, and I do go for the Dragon Call this turn. I could have tried to get another, I could have tried to get another Dragon Dance, but I didn't want to risk him predicting that and, um, you know, attacking me this turn and then protecting me the next turn. I figure if I just keep attacking, I'll get rid of this Quagsire, and at this point I'm thinking, you know, I, due to my accident earlier, I still have a Dragon Dance, so I have plus one attack and plus one speed. And I'm like, okay, well, at least I, I should be able to get, like, another KO or two, maybe, I don't know. He goes out into Feraligator, and he does have the Aqua Jet, which I kind of expected, but um, I am neutral to that. And as you can see, I take it pretty nicely. The thing that surprised me is this Feraligator lives, and yeah, that was usually surprising and kind of annoying, because I was hoping to get another kill off after the Feraligator, but turns out maybe I should have gotten that second Dragon Dance. Uh... Either way, I get taken out, and he gets taken out to his recoil, so it is a double KO, but uh, still, would have been nice to get off another KO with my Charizard before it went down. Oh well, so he goes back into his Typhlosion and uh, misses with Fire Blast, because it's a low accuracy move, as I just go for a Psychic against it, and as you can see, I nearly kill it. Unfortunately uh, for me, th this is obviously Scarf uh, Typhlosion, so he is going to be able to get the uh, Fire Blast off this turn. Not quite strong enough to kill me. Good thing that the first one missed, otherwise you'd be able to KO, but uh, yeah, I'm able to take out the Typhlosion now, which is uh, kind of nice, and um, Mayu is, is kind of weak right now, but still have to hope that I can get something going. He goes into Heracross, and here he makes an excellent play, uh, predicting my Gyarados, which is more or less an obvious play. I didn't want to stay in, obviously, because of the threat of the Megahorn. And uh, he just saw right through me and just goes for the Stone Edge, which is an excellent play because he knew I had Gyarados. I do get the Intimidate, so he's not at full attack. This is definitely, and I was actually going back and forth with myself whether this was Mega Heracross or not. Turns out it's, I'm not a fan of Mega Heracross, neither is he. Um, turns out it is just a Scarf Heracross, Scarf Moxie probably, which is uh, pretty scary in its own right. But uh, yeah, after seeing that he's locking himself into Stone Edge, I just go into Venusaur, it is pretty bulky, and with the minus one attack, he's not going to be able to do a whole lot as he goes into his mill tank, obviously, uh, because he has Sap Zipper, and he knows I can't do anything to him because I don't carry Sludge Bomb on this Venusaur. I apparently carry Hidden Power Fire. I think this Venusaur is meant to... I think this is a Chlorophyll Venusaur meant to be used on Sun Teams. Um, because that would make a lot of sense with the uh, Hidden Power Fire. But, oh uh, well, what can you do? I go out into Scyther, and um, this kind of... I'm hoping to be my ace in the hole here. I do have Swords Dance, so I feel pretty confident that I might be able to set up against this Melotic. And I do have a lot of speed, obviously, on Scyther. So, um, there's that. I just have to hope he doesn't get the Paralysis off of a Body Slam. So I try to get a Swords Dance up. I do have Brick Break on this thing, which is super effective. He gets a Body Slam off, and of course the first one paralyzes me. Which, uh, is going to destroy my speed and also give me a chance to not act. So, that's what Paralysis does, folks, if you... Need to go back to Pokemon Training School. Anyway, I'm just going to go for the Air Slash here, thinking there was a chance he might actually try to switch out, uh, maybe predicting Brick Break, or just switching out for some reason, I don't know. I am going to heal my Scyther now, I have to hope that I don't get frozen by Paralysis. Actually, despite the fact that he got really, really lucky uh, paralyzing me on that first turn, I actually got pretty lucky against him not getting the Parahax against me this battle. In fact, I don't think I got it once, which is actually pretty impressive in its own right. Pretty lucky in its own right. I mean, it's kind of when you get paralyzed off a of body slam, it's kind of like lucky and... It, it's, it's a mixed luck thing, because on one, the one hand, he got the parahax off the body slam. On the other hand, I never really get parahaxed, but um, still, the speed advantage is pretty huge. And um, he's going to milk drink now, as I'm like, okay, I really do need to set up a, another sword. Well, yeah, I just go for the brick break here. And as you can see, it's doing about as much damage as he's healing for, so... Eventually, I'm going to get fed up as he keeps going for the milk drink, waiting for me to um, get parahaxed. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep trying to hit him. I switch it up for Aero Lace, I guess, and maybe predicting. Because, I, I mean, in the back of my mind, I'm, I'm kind of fearing a Heracross switch. Because if he goes in a Heracross, he can Stone Edge me, which is something I really don't want to see. And, and I know that he's going to try to revenge kill with that anyway, if, if I do take out Miltank. 
But, um, yeah. Eventually, I'm going to get fed up here and just go for another Swords Dance. Like, fine, if you're going to keep going for uh, Milk Drink, I'm going to get up another Swords Dance, son. Going to get up another one, if uh, that's the way you want to play. So that's what I do. I eventually just get off another one. And, um, yeah, now I have two Swords Dances. And incoming biggest misplay ever. I'm warning you right now. I made a few misplays this battle. Um, but this one is probably the worst. He goes into Meganium, which we've already seen is the, his dual screen Meganium. Kind of interesting, kind of cool, whatever. And, um, yeah, he goes for the Reflect as, uh, I think I actually get Parahax this turn. There you go, there's a Parahax. Um, but yeah, he goes for Reflect, and I switch out because I forgot the secondary effect of Brick Break. Like, most of the time, Brick Break's second effect is more or less irrelevant, and I don't even think about it, but... Why would I switch out? I could have just brick break and got rid of the reflect. Like, I had nothing to fear from those screens, and he forced a switch on my Scyther, which is bad. I'm just going to go for a baton pass now, because um, I knew he probably would switch. Uh, so I basically baton pass to um, see what he would switch into, then send out a counter. Now, uh, I go into Scyther again, because, you know, I was winning this matchup before, but one thing changed, and that is I don't have my Swords Dances. He's gonna, which basically gives him a free curse, as now I wise up, and like, oh yeah, I can just kill these things with Break Break, so that's what I do. Um, but now he has a curse up, and I don't have my Swords Dances, so I need to actually set those up again, and he's still faster after one curse, uh, because of my paralysis, so I get off another... Uh, I would get off my first Swords Dance, and, um, yeah, this is just bad for me, because I know eventually I'm gonna get Parahaxed, and I just wanna, I guess I just decided to take the damage on the mill tank. I mean, I could've tried to heal, but he's doing nearly half to me with those Body Slams, and basically it would just be, if I try to go for Morning, uh, Light, uh, Morning, yeah, I think it's Morning Light, to heal, eventually I'm just gonna get a Parahax and he's gonna kill me, so I decided to take the damage... And uh, try to revenge kill with Mew, who does have Aura Sphere. This is actually a Nasty Plot Mew. I don't think it ever came into play here. Um, but yeah, this is Nasty Plot Mew. I Aura Sphere now, and it does kill the Mill Tank. Unfortunately, he's free now to go out into Heracross, which is a very, very scary Pokemon. And at this point, I mean, there's no reason for him not to lock himself in that Mega Horn. Due to the fact he has that damage on Gyarados, I'm pretty sure he can 2 it KO with it anyway. Still, I probably should have tried to go into Gyarados, because Heracross, I mean, the uh, Mega Horn was pretty obvious there. Should have probably tried to go into Gyarados anyway, but, um, yeah, now I'm going to do that to get the Intimidate, which cancels his Moxie, and try to do as much damage as I can. Like I said, maybe I should have tried, uh, maybe, uh, I don't think Gyarados could have survived even two minus one Mega Horns, but, um, yeah, it would have been a chance at any rate. But, yeah, I'll just go for the Waterfall. Doesn't quite kill him. I need a Megahorn miss in order to not to lose, and I don't get one there. My last Pokemon is Venusaur, and uh, once again, I need a Megahorn miss, otherwise I'm going to get killed by this plus one Moxie um, Megahorn. So I go out into Venusaur, hoping, praying, and I get a miss, and then I miss. As soon as he missed, actually, I knew that I would miss, just because RNG loves to troll. It really does. It's like, I'm going to give you the miss that you need, and then you're going to miss. Either way, that was a good game, full ham. Thanks for uh, the match, and thanks for watching to those who just watched. And uh, today's question of the day should be this. What was the first in-game team you had in the first Pokemon game you ever played? Um, back to me, that goes back to Fire Red. And I, all I remember of that team is I basically used Charizard for the whole game. Like, I was a kid, give me a break. I really basically used nothing else. I, I just kind of swept the game with Charizard. I know I randomly had a Ninetales in my team, and um, and pretty much everything else on my team, other than Charizard, which is level 100, was like level 30, level 4. I basically stuffed my team with the highest levels that I could find naturally and just never used them. I remember that part, until I figured out the Missingno glitch, and I got everyone to level 100 um, that way, but... Um, which means they haven't really had no EVs because I never used them. But I know I had a nine tails on the team, a nine tails on Charizard, I know, two fire types. And um I don't really remember what else was on there. Like I don't remember what else I used. But um yeah, that was my first in-game team. Leave a comment about yours, and I hope to see you guys next time. Late.